the other place. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. Come, my father wills you to see the other place, Jesus said, immediately I felt dread and did not want to go, Jesus looked at me and said, there is no disobedience in heaven, and I was ready to go, I knew that because I was with Jesus, I would be perfectly safe, Jesus picked me up and carried me like a baby, there was no fat in his body, it felt as hard as steel, he has all powerful arms, he is the strongest being in the universe, instantly we descended into a grey, nasty stench, like a rotting carcass, I buried my face in his robe, you will not want to see, he said, and I was scared, I had both my arms wrapped around one of Jesus' arms, we descended to a flat area, and I was at the gates of total destruction, I quickly realized that hell is the exact opposite of everything that heaven is, the gates were as big as the gates in heaven, but these were made of black material, I remember stairs, and there were hideous, grotesque beings as tall as the angels who guarded the gates of heaven, some cartoon figures of demons approached, how hideous these creatures were, when they saw the master, they screamed in horror, there were also flames of punishment, I felt the doom and despair there, I heard people crying out, it seems that demons take people to torture them to the same level of pain the demons themselves are in, or worse, people were naked, there was no one there who is not old enough to know what sin was. There were no babies, Jesus urged me to tell people what I saw, I want you to tell others of this place and warn them that unless they are washed in my blood, unless they are born again, this is where they will spend eternity, there were demons all around screaming, screaming, screaming at the very presence of Jesus, they could not stand to be in his presence, as soon as they saw him, they screamed and ran in terror there were people begging and pleading with Jesus to get them out of there, but he would not hear them because their judgment was fixed, refer to Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, I cannot describe everything I saw because it makes me violently ill, I don't want to remember, but I can tell you that there is an absolute horror, when you die, you have a spiritual body, this spiritual body has the exact properties that your physical body had when you were alive, you are a spiritual being, yet all physical senses are present, I saw people in hell who were no more than walking skeletons, with the flesh of some kind hanging off of them, rotting off of them, there were maggots, and the smell was unbelievable, people were being raped, serpents set undigested parts of people, then the people were restored, and it happened all over again, I witnessed people being ripped apart by demons, Parts of their bodies were hanging on boulders and rocks and the demons would take the parts and eat them and pass them through, and then the body was whole again for the process to be repeated, a young girl had hot coals forced into her mouth as demons mocked, you really thought you were getting by with something, there were groups of people in small cages that were on fire, people were put into small burning cages that were then dipped in a lake of fire, however, their bodies were not consumed, the bodies were never consumed, they were half skeletons, half beings, demons poured liquid fire on people, there were what looked like cold pits burning, people had cancer with all its pain and suffering forever, one man had a rotting arm, it took 100 years to rot off, then it was restored, only to begin rotting off again, there was another man with part of his head blown off from war, he had to keep looking for the rest of his head, I saw the lake of fire with people in it bobbing around, every torment you can imagine is multiplied a million times, there are degrees of punishment in hell, the people who are punished the greatest are those who knew the most and didn't do what they should have done, I thought of Hitler and I thought of God's justice, there was a hole and in the bottom of the hole, demons were chained, when they saw Jesus, they screamed out, we're coming to get you, but Jesus said, no, you won't, I pleaded, please, I don't want any more, there were pits of hell that were empty, empty now, but waiting for whole nations, it was dark and there were demons and serpents everywhere, the demons inflicted more pain than they were going through themselves, and they will be going out and look upon the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me, their worm will not die, nor will their fire be quenched and they will be loathsome to all mankind, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 24, then I saw the place reserved for the devil and his angels, 
he will have flaming slimy fire over his head for one thousand years, the lake of fire had depths that got worse and worse and worse, son, you have fulfilled what God wanted, Jesus said, we ascended to the platform again, I asked, who am I going to tell? Tell others about a place called heaven and the other place, the place of separation. He took my face in his hands and tilted it so that I had to look directly into his face, then he said, don't ever forget how much I love you and what I have done for you, never forget how much I love those whom you are going back to and the place I have prepared for them, and how much I love them.